In this video, I'm gonna compare the Apple AirPods Pro versus the new Bose QuietComfort earbuds over 9 rounds and find out who wins. At the time of making this video, both have an official price point of 400 Australian dollars, but the Apple AirPods Pro can be found in a cheaper price on some deals in some websites, but that is subject to change anytime, so based on official price point, this round is a draw. I keep saying beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, hence I am not going to comment on the looks of these headphones, but still there are some major differences which are worth noting. First, let's start with the case. The AirPods Pro in very Apple-like fashion has a small footprint with wide curves and glossy finishes. On the other hand, the Bose has this industrial look with ovular shape and muted colors. The case however is twice as big and heavier than the AirPods Pro, which to me feels a lot awkward to carry around because the bulge in the pocket is very noticeable and very uncomfortable. There are also differences in the way both these cases opens and closes. We all know that the AirPods Pro have a magnetic latch which is quite secure but the Bose has a mechanical catch that requires a button press to get it open. Bose opted for this design because it is a bit more secure, meaning your earbuds will not go skittering across the floor when dropped. But this mechanism, as well as it works, has some problems. I found that the button needs to be pressed very firmly for the case to be opened. It works very well for two-handed operation, but for single-handed operation, it is a bit of a struggle, which is kind of annoying. So I will go with the Apple as the winner of this round. The way any earphones fit on an ear vary from person to person. For example, I know that a lot of people who complain to me about the fit of AirPods Pro. Some say that it comes off while running. So to people like those, I suggest that you buy some extra accessory like an ear hook or a foam bud so that you get a better fit. But the problem is that with such accessories, it always gets a little bit messy. Like attachments will need to be taken on and off as you take the AirPods Pro in and out of the case. On the other hand, the Bose QuietComfort has this new patented ear tip design that already comes with a wing or a fin that you will have to tuck underneath the ridge of your ears. So this fin is made out of soft silicone and not hard plastic which makes it very comfortable to wear. It has the same effect of having an ear hook so it is very stable no matter what kind of ears you have. But it is highly recommended that you try out all the ear fins. For me I have a size 2 on the right ear and a size 3 on the left. Don't know the exact science behind this, but there is a reason why manufacturers tell you to try all the ear tips before you settle for one. So please do that because proper fit not only means comfort, but it also means better sound quality. So to sum up this round, I will say that since I personally have no issues with the fit of either of these headphones, I would prefer the Apple earbuds given that they are also 2.9 grams lighter than the Bose. But then again, the Bose with its new ear fin technology makes it a safer option for me to recommend to the wider audience as I know that it will definitely fit better no matter what kind of ear you have. So the winner is the Bose Quiet Comfort. Both of these earbuds have wireless charging and quick charge option. With the Apple, 5 minutes of charge will give you an hour's listening time and with the Bose, a 15 minute of charge will give you 2 hours of listening time. And when it comes to battery life, I assume that given the Bose is bigger in every aspect than the AirPods Pro, it will have a longer battery life than Apple. But I was wrong. The Bose earbuds have 6 hours of juice in them and the case can give you another 12 hours. Whereas the AirPods Pro earbuds have 5 hours of listening time and an additional 19 hours on the case. This makes the AirPods Pro one of the longer lasting pairs around in the market and also the winner of this round. The Bose and the Apple both have a water resistance rating of IPX4. That's nothing to write home about, but they will withstand sweat and the odd rain shower. So this round is a dull draw. Both the headphones have touch controls that lets you do a variety of functions. The AirPods Pro have the H1 chip which means when paired with an Apple device you get a seamless experience. Like connect with your iPhone as soon as the case is open and also if you connect with one Apple device then it will automatically connect with the rest of your Apple devices listed under the same Apple ID. It can also connect with two devices at the same time which is very handy. Say for example you are working on your MacBook and a call comes in then the AirPods Pro will automatically be connected with your phone as calls are prioritized. But the Bose does not have this capability, it can only connect to one device at one given time. It does have an app that lets you control the noise cancellation level and a few other tweaks but it does not have an option to change the equalizer setting though. So this round could have been a dull draw but I am inclined to give Apple credit here because of the dual connectivity. Both pairs have active noise cancellation but they do take different approach. Apple AirPods Pro have two microphones 
one on the outside and another one on the inside. The outside one cancels the outside sound and the inside one cancels sounds that breaches the seal and gets inside. This apparently is adjusted 200 times per second as Apple claims. This performs well even though there is no degree of control to noise cancellation but there is a transparency mode so that you can hear announcements or have conversations. On the other hand, the Bose's noise cancellation is much more flexible. With 4 microphones and a mobile app, you can control 10 levels of noise cancellation. When compared side by side, the Bose seems to be also be able to cancel loud humming of a drone or a running background chatter of a TV better than the AirPods Pro. And Bose claims that these are the world's most effective noise cancelling earbuds and I totally agree. This is one area where Bose was the industry leader and trendsetter and it's good to see that they are still doing so well with so much competition around. So the undisputed winner of this round by quite some distance is the Bose Quite Comfort. Testing the microphone of the Bose Flight Comfort. Mic check, mic check. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mic check, mic check. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Testing the microphone of the AirPods Pro. Mic check, mic check. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mic check, mic check. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. As you just heard, both the headphones does a really good job of cancelling out external noise and focusing on the voice when on a call. But I feel like the Bose makes my voice sound solid and clear a little bit more than the AirPods Pro. Though it's just the right earbud on the Bose that can take a call because all the mics are placed on the right side unlike Apple, but still it gives the Bose quite comfort the edge over Apple on this round as well. In terms of sound quality, the AirPods Pro sound good. It has good bass which is sharp but has a little less kick to it than some other competing headphones. And that's because of the vents that Apple has incorporated. It does not pump sound directly inside the ears but rather gives a more open air type of listening experience. Which is not a bad thing if you keep listening to something over a long period of time as it puts less pressure on the ears. The mids and treble however are very impressive on the AirPods Pro, vocals are very sharp and detailed and the treble has a good distinction over the other layers of music. On the other hand, the Quiet Comfort are the most bass forward headphones that are out there in the market right now. Looks like Bose has learned a trick or two from Sony because the bass lines on this one are as good as it gets. It has a good thump and is very powerful. That does not mean it is overpowering on the other notes when listening to complex music such as classical for example. There a clear separation between the layers on the track, the treble has a good sparkle and the voice and mids sound full bodied with good texture. No matter what genre of song I threw at the Bose, it handled them beautifully. For the first time, I think I do not mind having an equalizer on the app setting because the sound quality is that impressive. I think the Bose may not be as good as the Momentum 2 from Sennheiser but I need to try that out side by side but it is definitely better than the AirPods Pro in terms of sound quality, that is for sure. So the winner here is the Bose Quite Comfort. So after 9 rounds, it's the Bose Quite Comfort that comes out as victorious over the Apple AirPods Pro. So let me know what you guys think of this comparison or which one you think should have won. So guys, please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. This is Nafi signing off till next week. Peace!